The shopping street has settled down for the evening. We pop into the Ethiopian restaurant to find... It's filled with Ethiopians who live in the area. This place is truly Ethiopia in miniature. Everyone is eating traditional Ethiopian home cooking. In Ethiopia, you wrap various meat and vegetable dishes in a crepe-like flatbread called intera. Intera is the most fundamental part of Ethiopian cuisine. But it's hard to find in Japan. That's why Ethiopians gather at this restaurant for a taste of home. All right, just like this. All right. Just how does Intira taste? Kyle gives it a try. Oh wow. Oh, it's a, it's a bit sour, hey? Injida is known for its distinctive sour flavor. Here's how it's made. Start with ground seeds of an Ethiopian grass called teff. Dissolve it in water and let it ferment for a few days, producing the sourness. Then, cook it on a frying pan to make the crepe-like injida. This restaurant is becoming popular with Japanese customers for its authentic Ethiopian cuisine. <laughs> the small restaurant is bursting with international activity. Welcome to Ethiopia. <laughs> this is owner Ephraim Haile. He opened it in 2016 and runs it with his wife. The restaurant is located on this old shopping street populated with charming people. <laughs> 